Why is the media trying to further this white agenda in which they're trying to still make white people look like the savior? Way of life has cubed. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about the Christian terrorist who tried to shoot up a Norway masjid. Allahi, I'm so happy he's talking about this, but that chandelier in the back is creeping me out, yeah. Before we continue this video, I need you to smash this video with a huge thumbs up and I need you to subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. Before we proceed with this video, a huge Eid Mubarak to all my beautiful beloved brothers and sisters. Those who are watching this, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you on this beautiful Eid day and thank you for your love and support. So here's what happened. The day before Eid, yes, on Yom Arafa, a young white male. Hold on, hold on a second. That's what they're calling him? If it was anyone else, they would have called him by his religion or something far more derogatory. For him, it's funny that we call him a young white male. Wow. And on top of that, we don't even know his name. Why is it that because he's white, we don't even know the man's name? Do you understand how much Google research I had to do for this video? And on top of that, nothing was found on this person's name. I couldn't even find the dude's picture. The truth is, I just think you're a bad researcher. This young white male was apprehended. And guess what? That never ever happens. If the person is pretty much anyone but white, they sort of shoot him on the spot. Why is this person even alive? A stud for Allah is, can you support killing people? No, that's not what I'm trying to say. Oh, Allah, that's exactly what you're saying right now. No, no, bro, I'm not I'm not trying to say that, chill. Excuse a jihadi. What I'm trying to say is that whenever it's someone who's not white, they're usually shot on the spot. Look at all the examples that we have of young people of color being shot on the spot for actually having no weapon whatsoever, for being in any type of situation that seems violent, they're getting killed on the spot, yet this white Christian is getting apprehended. This literally makes no sense. And maybe because he's not in America, yeah? Anyways, this dude tries to come through to the masjid and not to read Salah, guys, with guns and trying to shoot up the place. But lucky enough for us, there were only three people in the masjid because he missed Salah. Please do your research. Dude, that's not even the time we pray. You came at the off hours of a masjid, bro. You're super corny. How haven't you even done the research on your own targets, bro? Comes through, trying to shoot up the place, and then Midi John, my cha ji, Muhammad Rafiq. Ch -ch 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 you Nick grabs that young white male, hits him with a stone cold stunner, and grabs him by the neck for a rock bottom straight to the ground. And this Babaji Muhammad Rafiq does the most electrifying move in sports entertainment. You heard it right, the people's elbow. And it ain't done. As soon as he's done washing this dude and sitting on top of him, my man Mohammed Iqbal come, tag teams him, and he pops him in the head. The media is calling this a possible act of terrorism, but this is my question to you, media. What will qualify this to be a full act of terrorism? Why is it only a possible act of terrorism? Why is it not a full act of terrorism? Why are you so cheap and stingy with words that make white people look guilty, bro? Why aren't you portraying acts of terror the way it should be? That acts of terror don't have any color, race, religion whatsoever. Acts of terror are bad no matter who does it. And acts Acts of terror could be done by anyone. Why is the media trying to further this white agenda in which they're trying to still make white people look like the savior? And this dude had white nationalistic winged ideas or whatever. And he doesn't like immigrants and doesn't like anyone who's not white. Why aren't people like this on FBI's most wanted list? Why aren't they being stopped at passport control, border control, and being asked in question for extra screening and being selected for random selections now? They be posting stuff like this on Facebook, man. They post all their thoughts about how they hate people who aren't white, openly admitting it. Yet they're not being selected for a random screening? What are you doing, guys? That's one of the first lessons we learned. The second important lesson we learned is the next time you see that uncle in the masjid who is shushing the place up shh, pay that man some respect because he might just one day save your life well that was the video guys i want to know your thoughts below tell me in the comment section below what were your thoughts about the entire thing i know you're hearing this on eve day or whatever and it's just not good news to hear and alhamdulillah it wasn't something bigger it wasn't some killings happening because that would have messed our eats up just remember if you benefited and enjoyed this video please make sure you smash the huge thumbs up please subscribe to the youtube channel as well i will only subscribe when you remove that creepy chandelier i would love to connect with you guys tell me in the comment section below how do you spend your Eid and may Allah bless you on this Eid day as well and until next time
I'm out. I'm feeling good waking up today. Got to say thanks to Allah for giving me another day.